Keynes describes the relationship between income and household consumption like this. The fundamental psychological law upon which we are all entitled to depend with great confidence, both from our knowledge of human nature and from experience, is that men are disposed to increase their consumption as income increases, but not as much as the increase in income. In other words, for most of us, when we get a pay rise or salary increase, we'll spend more. In fact, we'll spend most of that increase, but we won't spend all of it. In terms of our circular flow model, we can now add this spending flow between households and firms, what we know as consumption spending, C. Now, there's a positive correlation between Y and C. Higher income causes higher consumption spending, and vice versa. But it is important to note that this increase in consumption spending is usually less than the increase in income. Most of us won't spend every last cent of an increase in income that comes our way. In other words, if the national household income increases by 100 million rand, consumer spending will also rise, but only by perhaps 80 million rand. So what happens to the other 20 million? Well, for the most part, households will save this surplus income, and it fits into our circular flow diagram like this, as a flow of savings. So as a general rule in this model, what is not spent is saved. Savings is therefore our first leakage from the spending flow. 